Hey guys, welcome back to the Funky Little Studio. My name is Regina and I am 50% of the Funky Little Studio. I handle all things fashion, clothing, accessories, shoes, that type of thing. Um, I sell primarily on Poshmark and eBay. Um, today I've got a haul for you that um, was a road trip that Thomas and I took uh, to Missouri, Kansas City, Kansas, and Kansas City, Missouri, in that area. And while Tom was running a half marathon, I was thrifting in the, mor the morning while he was doing that. And actually the day before on the way up, we stopped in a couple little towns along the way and both did some thrifting. So that is what this thrift haul is. And to be honest with you, that's been two weeks now, I think, and I don't even remember what all I got. So this will be, this will be exciting for me too. So, um, all right. First off, I'm going to show you some accessories that I picked up, but also explain to you that I have been trying to thrift a lot of boho western, like cottage core, coastal western, cowgirl items and with the intention of doing some bundles uh, but what i've decided to do at this point because i have so much of it is do a whatnot show so my first boho rodeo whatnot show is this saturday april the 6th at 1107 central standard time and i do have a lot of pieces already loaded into that show over 80 at the moment and um, so if you want to check out some of those pieces you can jump over to whatnot we're the funky little studio on whatnot and you can um, look at my shows and check out some of those items so first off i found this uh really cute backpack purse and yeah it was steve madden by steve madden and i just like the looks of it i liked how funky it was it has this silver detail here it actually is um has the handle and then it also is um you can wear it as a backpack also and then of course it's got like the bohemian uh tassels and then yeah just i thought it was really really cute so and i want to say this was um was it in here i want to say it was like 4.99 if I remember correctly. So, all right, next, I love this little purse. I found this. Um, I'm trying to remember exactly what stores these were. It'll come back to me here in a minute. What is, let's see. Okay, Major Thrift. Major Thrift. <laughs> we were at Savers in Olathe? Yeah and Olathe, Kansas, and um, a lady that was in the store was talking to Tom, and she mentioned two other thrift shops we should stop at, and said they're right next to each other, so actually this, this major thrift was one of them. So we headed over there, and yeah, this was $2.99, and cute, this little crossbody, like boho, Got the little dream catcher and the inside of it's in excellent condition but it does not if i remember correctly it does not have a um any kind of tag or anything on it but i paid a uh, dollar 99 for this it kind of looks patagonia not patagonia um what am I, pendleton it almost looks pendleton-ish anyway so i grabbed that and then I grabbed this because I just thought it was really cute and would go with the, that cottage core coastal cowgirl aesthetic. It's the like eyelet, it's a cream colored, um, so little eyelet purse and it has the little wooden, whatever those are, knobs, wooden balls, <laughs> and it's got an elastic closure. I paid, yeah, $1.99. It also snaps, and then it has the little thing you can pull tight here.
here too. So I just thought that was really cute also. So that was fun. And then I thought this was actually really gorgeous. And I paid $3.99 for this. I think I got this at Savers. Pretty sure I grabbed this at Savers. But this is leather and it's almost like a saddlebag. It, it has this fold over on it, but then it also has a zipper. So it does zip um, all the way up. And I'm telling you, this thing on the inside, it does have a tag. Let me see. Emily uh, Bordner .com. I need to look that up. Emily Bordner .com. And yeah, just a really pretty crossbody, but definitely would be your like, you know, Western aesthetic. And yeah, I thought it was really pretty. Okay, into some clothes. So this is going to be a mixture of things. Not everything is the Bohemian, you know, cowgirl aesthetic, but how many times have I said aesthetic? <laughs> uh, but I did, I'm also thrifting things for my Poshmark closet, things that I think, you know, will be good for that. And it is springtime. So I grabbed this Talbot size four, um, new with tags. It retailed for $119, but it is a just button down linen uh, skirt that is slit on the sides. So buttons down and then slits on both sides. It's got pockets. It's a size four, but yeah, I couldn't leave that there for sure. Oh, and let me see what I paid for it. I got this at that major thrift and I paid $7.99. They did have a color that was half off. I can't remember what color it was, but Okay, so next, this is really cute. This was $3.99, and I, this definitely goes in with that Western, uh, Western theme that I was looking for. It's got that, what I call the, kind of like a picnic check to it. The brand is uh, Premise, and this is a size large, so it's a great size. Obviously, large is a great size to find, but then it does have stretch too, so definitely would go up to an extra large. And it's got this full, like, swing to it. So the skirt, very, very pretty. And it's, it's like a pleated, accordion-style skirt. I thought that was really pretty. So definitely that will be part of the uh, Western. Oh, oh, here's another. I couldn't believe I found this. Honestly, this was at that major thrift store and it was just hanging with all the belts. And I mean, it's as far as I can tell. Let's see. Sozan Designs. I believe it, it is real leather. Yeah, genuine leather. I have a couple of these listed in my Poshmark closet, but I don't think that they're genuine, genuine leather. And this was $3.99. $3.99. So, yeah, gorgeous. So, I don't know. I might be keeping this one. We'll see. I might at least be possibly wearing it in my whatnot show. But when I saw that, I was like, oh my gosh. And I went to grab it. I thought, I wonder how much they want for this. I was shocked that it was $3.99. So, okay. Oh, this is so cute. Another dress for the um, whatnot show or a future whatnot show. I'm telling you, I have probably 250 pieces, I think, at this point. Um, but this is the Pyramid Collection, is the brand, which I've never heard of. I got this at Savers. It was $14, and it's a gray tag. I'm not sure, but here's the, here's the tag. And how cute is this? This is something else I'm going to be trying on. I love this kind of, it's off the shoulder, and then it's got the smocked waist, and then the tiered skirt, and it's basically a chambray. Like it's not a super, super heavy denim, but
but you know, off the shoulders. Yeah, really cute. Love that. I'm gonna be trying that one on. All right, next, this is from Savers. I paid $11.99, but I could not leave this behind. This was the brand Fetish Jeans. So here's the tag. You guys heard of this brand, Fetish Jeans? And this is a denim skirt, but it's got that like scarf. Is that what it's called? The scarf hem on it. So it's long here, long here, long here. Almost like the shark bite, but yeah. So definitely it's got a little bit of like the not distressing, but the lighter um, wash down the front um, near the seams. Anyway, button with a zip, just really cute. What size is this sucker? This is a size one, no, large, size large. I don't know about that. Maybe a junior size large, but, and again, I paid $11.99. All right, oh, this is so cute. And did I buy the other one? No, I did not. Okay, I probably should have. Is this Rebellion? Yeah. All right, this was at Savers, and I just saw this exact same duster at Goodwill not too long ago, new with tags. Um, and I didn't buy it because I was like, I think I already have that. I probably should have bought it anyway, but um, I paid $6.99 for this duster. And... This is like, is this, let's see what the material is. I don't know if it's linen or cotton. Let me see. It is a general cycle, construction, rayon. <laughs> okay, it's rayon, but look how pretty. So it's got like almost like the crocheted at the waist. It has two ties here. That's the only thing uh, that cinches the waist. It's V-neck. Yeah, really pretty. And then here's the sleeves with the little kind of lace detail on the ends. How cute is that? With some light shorts, the cowboy boots, little tank top. Yes, for sure. Okay, next. This was really cute too. Really, really cute. This is by the brand um, Cheyenne, which is basically kind of a Western boho uh, brand. I paid $6.99 for this dress. If you can see the tag, there's the tag. And this is a little, almost like a rust red color. V-neck, V-back. <laughs> uh, it's got the cute little ties here in the middle that have the gold and little decoration on them. But yeah, this is a little mini, probably comes to your knees, but very cute. That with some cowboy boots, oh my gosh. Yeah, going to a outdoor concert, so, so cute. All right, next up, another, they had this with the dresses and I'm like, I'm fairly certain that this is a skirt but I guess it could be worn as a dress also. I don't know, but I paid $4.49 for this and the brand is Tree of Life. It's a size small. Um, now it's got this cute little peace sign on it, but it's got the smocking at the top and then the tiered floral skirt. It's got the lace in between the tiered layers. I just think it's adorable. And again, uh, I guess you could wear it as a, as a dress. Tell me, do you think it's a dress or a skirt? I don't know. They had it with the dresses, but I think it's a skirt. Okay. This is so cute. So, so cute. I almost put this back and I was like, what are you thinking? Do not put this back. Definitely kind of a boho vibe. And the brand on this little jumpsuit is Sacred Threads. And it's, it says it's one size. 
I don't know about that, but um, is this patchworky? Okay. Like overalls. So you've got the button here. And I think, does it have a couple other? It's adjustable, I think, just by one. Yeah, there's the other button. So adjustable and here's the little pants. So cute. And then here's the back of it, even cuter. So the back has a um, tie, so you can cinch it back here and make it tighter or looser. And I paid, what did I pay for this? I paid $8.99. $8.99 for this. We don't have savers in Oklahoma, um, and their prices are worse than um, Goodwill, I think on a lot of things. Instead, instead of just like all the dresses are this price, which pretty much at my Goodwill, all the dresses they have at $6.99. But you know, at Savers, it's they're just pricing dresses all different prices. And sometimes it's like, I don't know, you guys know what I mean. <laughs> okay, this shirt came from a little thrift store that is in Liberty, Missouri, which is where the um, half marathon was that Tom was running and he's done this marathon I think for like five years um, except for COVID year I believe but anyway we came across this thrift shop I think it's called Hope Thrift and it's right along the route of um, the marathon and it opens at like nine in the morning so after I drop him off at the marathon I go back to the hotel and get myself Put together and then I typically head over to that um, to that thrift store and this was on a rack that they had with more like vintage pieces so I did pay ten dollars for this shirt but I think it's adorable I can't find any any labels on it and I think that it might be like handmade like somebody added these ruffles and then all the embroidery and look at the back how great is that? Look at this, those little pockets. They've put the lace here. They've got the lace on the sleeves and the lace on the bottom. Yeah, and ten I was like $10, but no, I couldn't leave it there. It really, really was like, this is, this is the type of pieces that I'm looking for. So yes, you're coming with me. Oh, all right, another accessory. I got this at that same thrift store. It is um, like a woven bag. It does have the um, dream catcher. I paid $4 for this bag and yeah, it's just a little crossbody, but I thought it was really cute. Okay, this is another piece that was on that vintage rack. And I don't know, I just thought if this doesn't scream like coastal cottage core cowgirl, I don't know what does. This was $12. It's got this sweet little rosette with the pink ribbon. It's got pink ribbon on this like lace collar. I don't know. It's a cream color and it's sheer. So I don't know if this is a nightgown, if it is a shirt. I don't know. My guess is it might be a nightgown and it does have a tag in here. Hold on. Yeah, this is a nightgown. This is Gilead. Gilead. You know how I know that it's a nightgown? Because um, I also collect vintage lingerie and um, I actually have a vintage lingerie whatnot show scheduled. So this is a nightgown. But I don't know. I think I might put it in with my um, with my boho show. We'll see. But twelve dollars for that. Very cute. All right. Next up, this is the brand. Is it Andre? Yeah, Andre. And where did I get this? This is from Goodwill. We went to Goodwill, this was in Liberty, Missouri, I think. <laughs> Did we go to Goodwill in Olathe? No. 
we didn't, did we? Okay, we went to several places, but I think this was from Liberty, um, Missouri. Anyway, page 749 for this cute little, almost like um, rust brown color. It snaps, it's got snaps with the collar, the little puff sleeve, cute little kind of, um, like a drop waist. Anyway, how cute is that? Definitely like a Western style. All right, next up, oh, I, yeah, this is from Goodwill in Liberty, Missouri, because I found this. They had it marked for $9.49, and I could not leave it behind because it's Levi's. It is Levi's, and it's like a button up almost not crop but like comes to your waist style with these puff sleeves so good so you can wear it you know you can wear this as a shirt or a shacket but oh my gosh yeah i was like you're coming with me you're coming with me i'm not you're not staying there okay what is this i'm telling you like i can't even remember what all i bought all right, this is also from that Goodwill. I paid $7.49. Oh, this is pretty. This is the brand Reba, as in Reba McIntyre. And, you know, she's from Oklahoma. <laughs> Size large. But here's the Reba. I've come across some of her other things, and a lot of it I leave behind. And I wouldn't nece necessarily pick this up, like, up for a big flip, necessarily. But for the aesthetic... <laughs> I definitely will, but how pretty is this? It's all embroider, um, has an embroidery, it's all embroidered, and then it's got this like mesh crocheted sleeve and also the same down here at the bottom. So yes, I was like, definitely, I think that will do well in the whatnot show. All right. This I found at Goodwill. It was $10.49 and it was half off. So red was their half off color. And I'm like, why are you still here? Why did no one pick you up? Um, this is vintage. I don't know the brand. Do I? I don't think I do. It says it's a size 11. Size 11. But look at this beauty. So it's got that beautiful collar, this button down, almost corsetti, <laughs> corsetti, <laughs> you know, it's got the seams that come up, it's got this pretty skirt, it's got the V in the front that's just so flattering, and then look at these sleeves, look at this, look at these sleeves, so, with the, it's, yeah, so here's the side, Got the little flip up. I don't know. And then the back, it's got the um, belt that comes around from the front um, to cinch you in the waist. And then also, it's got the V with the pleated skirt on the back. I don't know. It, so ultimately, I paid $5.25 for this dress. I thought it was gorgeous. All right. Uh, this is. This is something else. I was like, do I want this? And I'm like, no, you have to take this. It was $8.49 at Goodwill. And the brand is Hidden. Hidden brand is the is the brand. It's new with tags. And it is a, like, um, what do they call that wash? So it's, what do they call that? Anyway, it's almost like a gray black pencil skirt, but it's got the snaps that go down like diagonally down the skirt. Here's the back of the skirt, and it's a size medium, but yeah, ultimately I was like, okay, it screams Western, and you're coming with me. All right, that's the first bag. I got one more bag, and... Let's see. Okay, yeah. All right, so next up, where did I find these? Where did I find these? Found these at Savers. They were asking $5.49, and I think this was the Savers in um, 
Liberty. So they have a Savers and Liberty also. But I'm, I mean, I'm not a big Disney or Winnie the Pooh fan. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love, I love Winnie the Pooh, but like, I'm not a collector of, of Pooh. But these are um, Winnie the Pooh and Eeyore with the butterflies. And it's a, they're a great size. Hopefully, I think I've had my microphone all covered up. I don't know. Hopefully, you guys can hear me. And, oh, here's the back. Here is the back. Yeah, really cute. And they are from the Disney store. The Disney store. Now here's the tag. And size large. Size large on those. Do, 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 do. I'm going to mess with this for a second. I feel like. All right. That's going to bug me right there, but I'm. I think I had it covered up. Okay, here's a piece. I always look at the um, nightgowns and things, and of course, I saw this. This is not silk. I did pay $8.99 for this. It is um, made in Japan, but and it's 100% polyester, but it's a beautiful kimono. So here's the sleeves, and it's got the um birds flowers and then this thing is is brand new because i was like what is that inside the sleeve and it's actually the belt that goes with it so the belt is like tacked in here still so yeah this is going to go in the lingerie show and then if it doesn't sell it'll um, i will list it all right this piece it was so gorgeous. So on our way home, back home to um, Tulsa, we decided to stop at a brewery in, what town were we in? I can't remember the name of the town, but we found a brewery in a small town on our way back. And we decided to stop at the brewery, which was great. And then we got to talking to the people sitting next to us. Actually, and I had looked up on, um, on the map, but there was a thrift store just down the street. And the couple we happened to be talking to at the brewery, turns out she has a, like a booth and resells. Um, not clothing, but, you know, other things. And she had mentioned this uh, thrift store also. So uh, anyway, of course we had to, it was on the way out of town. We had to stop. And this was like a local small town, you know, thrift store, but they had this, which I have never heard of this brand, um, Odile, but come to find out it is a brand sold at Anthropology. And they were asking $10 for this. And I want to say it's a hundred percent silk. No, it's 100% cotton, and the lining is 100% silk. So you can see the lining, and just look at this beauty. It's got the um, red embroidered roses, and um, it has these three-button closure here. I mean, come on. Yeah, this that was coming with me. All right, next up. Oh, this is cute. I couldn't leave this. This is the brand Lapis, which I have um, I have heard of Lapis. And it's that same style of dress that I showed in the beginning. It's basically that same, you know, exact same style of dress. But this has um, a lot of stitching and embroidery. It's got it around the, you know, around the neck. And then it's got the smocked waist and the tiered skirt, but it also has the um, stitching all along the skirt, the tiered skirt. And then you can see it's got, it's made this way to look like it's got some like wear on the skirt. So yeah, what did I pay for that? Did I already tell you that? 
Um, no, but I think dresses were like four ninety nine. Okay, this is really cute. I got this at Sabers. This is the brand Great American Sweater, and you know that crochet is really hot right now. And here's the tag. I paid four forty nine for this, and this is just a little crocheted shirt. V-neck shirt. It's got a tie here to, for the peplum, little peplum uh, bottom on it. Yeah, I was like, somebody is going to want that. Somebody's going to want that. All right, next up, I saw this and immediately, this looks exactly like a Johnny Was shirt that I've seen before. Um, this has no tags on it other than it says it's an extra large. That is it. It I paid six forty nine at Savers, but it just yeah embroidery all over it. It's got like the little half sleeve embroidered, and then the back has a little bit around the neck, and of course at the bottom it's got the stitching. So yes, please. And this also was just something I picked up based on. Um, the style of it. I got this at that um, May Jar, <laughs> May Jar, you'll have to see the tag, May Jar um, Thrift in Olathe, and I paid $5.99 for this piece, but this just screams like coastal cottage cowgirl to me. So v-neck, lace, here's the sleeves. Yeah, that with, you know, a long skirt oh my gosh so cute here's the back of it so so cute and it says that it is a size medium but it definitely oversized for sure so I grabbed that this one I wasn't sure about but I was like somebody's gonna like this I don't know uh, but I think they will um, Lee somebody oh okay cry here cry i don't know i paid 7.99 this is an extra large and it is just a chambray like t-shirt um t-shirt dress it does have the snaps two pockets and then the bottom is this like little lacy crocheted um at the bottom it is fully lined and here's the back of it so it literally is just like a t-shirt dress but you could wear it that way of course you can you could open up you know some of these and you know show a little leg or you could completely unsnap it and just wear it as a duster um, and it's a great size All right, next up I see a lot of white and oh, Okay, this dress is probably staying with me. Again, it is, well, I don't even know what brand it is, but it, it is um, really cute. <laughs> so it's off the shoulder, like those other two dresses. It is buttoned down. It has a cinch waist, so it doesn't have the smocked waist. And then the skirt is like a high-low. So it's got the ruffle and then the back so with your cowboy boots oh, it's so cute we'll see it's pretty um see-throughy it is lined so we'll see but i definitely want to try that on i fell in love with that at the at the store okay next up is this is just sonoma brand i paid six dollars for it but I did think it matched the aesthetic that I was going for. Um, very pretty. It's got the v-neck, the little ruffle sleeves, the textured almost, it's not Swiss dot, but kind of Swiss dot. Um, it's got elastic at the waist and some smocking. So the smocking's on the front, it's not on the back. It buttons all the way down. So again, you could wear this as a duster if you wanted to. But then it's open down here so when you walk and you're wearing your 
you're wearing your boots or your sandals, but you're showing leg. And it does have these little ties right here. So I grabbed it because I like, I thought I could see the vision with that dress. Um, and that's the thing when you're, when you're pulling items based on a style and not necessarily the brand of clothing, it just opens a lot more possibilities for you. Uh, this is a skirt that is by the brand SW. It does not have a um, size tag on it. I paid $6, $5.99, but um, it's got elastic in the waist. I would say this is probably an extra large and it's got this crocheted top and the little tiered skirt. Really simple, kind of gauzy, but very good yeah. and a great size. So, and it's lined. I, I t I'm telling you, this is all the white stuff. I put all in one spot, evidently. All right, I grabbed this because again it just met the style that i was going for but it's marona which of course is sold at target and um but this is another like maxi this almost feels like it's i think it's cotton or rayon but almost t-shirty 100 percent rayon so and it's got the elastic waist again the tiered skirt with like some lace detail here so do you see the theme that i got going <laughs> are you starting to see the vision okay uh this was something else that i was like nope you're coming with me this is so cute it is new with tag and let me see if i have i think i think i got this at the thrift store um in small town but i can't think of the name because it doesn't have a price tag on it, but it has adjustable straps. Okay, so you can adjust the um, length of the strap and buttons all the way down. It's like a little carpenter dress. Okay, and then look at the back. It's by Lee. Oh, something sold. <laughs> didn't that didn't even wait to come up. Uh, so yeah, it's by Lee Jeans, and <laughs> yeah, that was definitely coming with me. How fun is that? All right, just a couple more pieces. I have seen this shirt sell in boho shows, and I've I've actually seen this shirt a lot at the thrift store, and I've never picked it up, but um, I did this time. So I paid four forty nine for this kind of bohemian crocheted top. If you see these, I'm telling you, people love those. <laughs> people really love those. All right. Next up, this is just a little chambray tiered skirt. I paid $5, $4.99. The brand um, is Baby. <laughs> Baby O Clothing Co. USA. This is made in the US USA. This is vintage. It's um, an extra large and just a pretty like dark blue chambray uh, tiered skirt. I've got a lot of these skirts in my whatnot show if you're looking for them. All right, two more pieces, you guys, two more pieces. This one uh, was at that major thrift and I paid $7.99. I thought this definitely is kind of that coastal cowgirl so you've got the halter and I call this the picnic check. I'm not sure if that's the um, official name of it, but it's got this little peekaboo right here uh, with smocking here. It has the tiered skirt. It is lined to here. So you've got the little tier at the bottom and then the back is completely open. And uh, yeah, with the smocking, so you know, but adorable. I just thought that was adorable. And last but not least, I found these are um, vintage. I paid five dollars for these at Major Thrift, so that's what I'm saying. Like, 
Um, the other day I was at Goodwill here locally and they had two different pairs of overalls and they were asking um, $19.99 for the overalls. They were, um, you know, like men's overalls. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not paying $19.99 for those. Although um, I will have some overalls, men's overalls, kind of distressed and vintage overalls in my whatnot show um, in my buy it now. So, um, but I've gotten them for, you know, kind of, I found them out in the wild and not paid $20 for them. So uh, anyway, these are Bill Blass. Sorry, I'm trying to get the, this little thing. And they're overalls, but they're shorts. So they're the, carp they're the carpenter style. Bill Blass, and they're a great size. I don't know what size they are, but they feel they're large. They are a size large, but how good are those? All right, so that is it. That is a mountain of clothes, and I'm glad I went through all that because I knew I had a lot of stuff in there that could go in my um, whatnot show. That can be a whole other whatnot show. Anyway, uh, but that's it, you guys. That's all I have for today. So um, thanks for tuning in. Please let me know if you are into um, this this um, boho western trend that is going on. Of course, I live in Oklahoma, so you know, western trend is um, all the time. I think not. It's not like everyone's walking around in western wear, but you know, there are uh, there are people that. That is, that is what they wear. So um, I'm lucky because then I get to find it at the thrift stores. So anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. Please subscribe, hit the like button, and check out one of our other videos, our What Sold Wednesdays, um, or another, um, or another haul video. And we will see you next time. Thank you. I don't know you were sleeping.